Well, now to the oldest, indeed the original award of the Irish Book Awards, the Eason Novel of the Year. The shortlist this year is a wonderful illustration of the continuing power of the contemporary Irish novel, and it brings together both established writers and first-time nominees. To present this award, please welcome broadcaster X Dragon and the CEO of Harmonia Publishing, Nora Casey, along with Eason's Group Head of Trading, Keith Butler. Thank you. I'm delighted to uh, announce the nominees for the Eason's Novel of the Year for all sorts of reasons. One, even though I do broadcast and I dabble in social media, my first love is words. I trained as a journalist. I was a writer, a news reporter, an editor. In London, I published newspapers, academic journals, books. I married a man who spent his whole life loving English literature. So for all those reasons, I'm honored to introduce to you the giants, my heroes, the writers, who together form this year's nominees for the Eason Novel of the Year Award. Arimathea, Frank McGuinness, Brandon Books. The Thing About December, Donal Ryan, Doubleday Ireland, Lilliput. The Things We Know Now, Catherine Dunn, Pan Macmillan. Transatlantic, Colin McCann, Bloomsbury Publishing. This Is The Way, Gavin Corbett, Fourth Estate, and The Guts, Roddy Doyle, Jonathan Cape. And the winner is Roddy Doyle for The Guts. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I wasn't expecting this at all, and uh, I've nothing really prepared. Just to thank everybody uh, involved in getting the book from my laptop onto the shelves and for getting it out of the bookshops. I deeply appreciate it. I think it's, uh, uh, it was my tenth novel, and it's as big a thrill as the first one ever was. Uh, I went back to the characters that I wrote about in my first novel, The Commitments, for this book, uh, back to them in middle age. And uh, the characters in the rabbit family, uh, small things are often an event. You know, the dinner, a pint. Little things are big events in the day. And it's only actually very recently that I realized that I got that from my father. My mother too, but you know, because the, the characters in those books are largely male, it, it's my father. So, um, Everything, you know, when I grew up, and even today, was, was an event, you know, a little delight. And uh, even, you know, he described uh, having a, a, he, the news that he had to have a full body scan. He described it to us as, they're shoving me up a tunnel. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the information by itself was never enough. It had to be, there had to be elbows on it, so to speak. And it's only, as I said, it's only relatively recently that I realised I got so much from him. And he's 90 next week, so um, I'm going to give him this. And uh, he can shove it wherever he wants, really. <laughs> and um, it'll save me the bother of having to buy him something, which is great. So thank you very much. Doyle, congratulations Thank you very much. On, on winning the uh, Eason Novel of the Year Award. You're, you've won plenty of awards in, in your writing career. How does it feel to win this one particularly? I think it's the exact same, really. For, um, it's a lovely feeling, you know. It's a lovely compliment to be paid. Uh, when I won the Booker Prize 20 years ago, uh, I, I put, that's the way I, I described it to myself and to everybody else. It was a great compliment to be paid, and I thought it was the most... Um, uh, the most satisfactory way to go about it, you know, it doesn't make the book any different or bigger, better or anything like that. It's just a great compliment and this one is a, is a lovely compliment really, you know, every, the new book is always the baby. Yeah. And for somebody to look into the pram and say, that's a nice baby. <laughs> yes. Now, this is a sort of a, a fairly mature baby because what <laughs> yeah. you were doing was you were, yeah. you were bringing, uh, I suppose, resurrecting uh, yeah. Jimmy Rabbit. Uh, yeah. from, from all the 20 odd years ago? Well, I wrote The Commitments in 1986. Yeah, so... So it's a long time. Longer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you agonise long and hard over his reintroduction? Not really, no. I did, uh, you know, 
I suppose I, I should have spent ages wondering, well, what was he doing for the last quarter of a century, you know? But it, really, it, it, it only really matters when you're putting the words on the page. And I only thought about that when it was necessary. Like, does he still have hair? <laughs> because he, he goes through chemotherapy, so yes. is there any to fall out? Like, okay, you know? right. And things like that. So, yeah. But I, I quite enjoyed it, because uh, when I wrote the book, the first book, The Commitments, I was 27 and he was 21. And it's only six years, but they're huge years. Mm. You know, they're huge years. Such a wealth of living that goes on in those six years. Yeah. So when I wrote this one, I think I was 53 and he would have been 47. And there's six years, there's nothing in those six years, you know. So I felt closer to him as a character. And, you know, I've written a lot about middle age in, in the last 10 years or so. And it's great. One of the great things about being a writer is you can take the, humi you know, the humiliation of all this stuff, you know, yeah. getting older, whatever, yeah. and use it. Yeah. And so I, I felt well, the, he was there to be used in that way, that I could go back to him and it wouldn't feel like repetition at all because it'd been, it'd been so long since I'd uh, given him any thought at all, to the extent that I'd actually forgotten I'd written the commitments to him. So in some ways then, is, it, is there a bit of autobiography in here? Not really, Reflections no. Reflections at, no. at this stage of your life? State of mind, really, attitudes perhaps, uh, anxieties, pride in children, the, uh, the love of having a child, even the love of a dog. You know, things like that go in, but it's not all biographical, no. And there isn't a book in me, to be honest with you. It's a very dull existence. Mm. And, mm. And, uh, well, well, what's next? Uh, I presume you're delighted with the success of the commitments, the musical. Yeah, that was an the... extraordinary experience to be actually involved in that and to watch it being built. It was, uh, it was like the book, the, the script is like the foundation, and then I sat back and watched other people build a house on top of it, and they did a good job. You know, it's a nice house. Yeah. So that was an amazing experience. But I, I'm. At the moment, I'm working on what I hope will be a television series. But, uh, and what will that be about? I'm not telling you. No? When I start talking about work that isn't finished, it all begins to fall apart in front of the but, eyes. But presumably, given that it's a series, it would be a drama series. Yes. OK. Yeah. And when can we hope to see that, Roddy? When people agreed to give the production company money to make it. I see. And the, 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 the word I didn't put in there, I think, is if. If people agreed to. But, so it's... Yeah. yeah. Would, you be that's, would you be confident that it will? Uh, you have to be, mm. or there's no point in doing it, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, you have to enjoy doing it, and then you have to hope that it'll actually be made. But the enjoyment of doing it, or the wish, the wish to do it, is more important. But then, uh, you know, you, you can't help, even if you do a good job and you enjoy the job, and it ends up not being made, you can't help feeling that was a bit of a waste of time. But that's retrospective. But at the moment, I'm having a great time writing that, it. That's the risk you're prepared to take. Yeah. And uh, I, I know you're not giving much away, but is it comic or is it...? Uh... Uh, yeah, it would be largely comic, I think, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. That's the way I see it, okay. yeah. Right. But sometimes people don't laugh, but I would see it as comic. Yeah. So that's preoccupying you now, that's, that's what's, yeah. what's on hand? That's it, yeah. yeah. That'll keep you going for a few months? That'll keep me going for up longer. On, up on your left, on your own? Yeah. 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 Being antisocial. Absolutely. It's the only way to go. Well, Roddy, congratulations on winning the Eastern Novel of the Year and uh, continued success. Thank you.